how to take and print better photos for your Rakio exhibition in Davy. The first thing to taking better photos so you can print them better and have them better display at the school. It's important to understand lightning in the camera. When you take a photo, you cannot overexpose your photo, you cannot have it blurry unless that's your objective. So you have to understand the three simple rules, rules of ISO, aperture and shutter speed. These three control the light in your photo. So the lower you get your shutter speed, let's say you have it like one over 10 seconds, you can get a very bright photo because you have more time to expose it. But at the same time, it gets more blurry. So if you are doing this, so you can level out your low light, it's important to understand that you have to have your camera still, you have to have certain rules for your photo to not be blurry. The aperture can give you also extra lightning in your photo. So most times when you take a picture in a closed space, the lightning is not that great. So if you don't have a professional set of flashes, a professional set of lights, most of the times you will not get this clarity in the photo, you will not get this brightness you want. So you can level up with the aperture lowering it down, but it gets, it separates more in the background, like it makes everything more even. So if you don't have a clear background, it sometimes can make it like, it, I'm sorry, it make it so the background can blend a little bit with your subject. So that's also a thing you have to have in mind when you're taking photos. The third thing is the ISO. The ISO is how sensitive your camera will be to the light. So it sounds like it's so easy as just loving uh, turning up your ISO so your cam for your photos be more bright. But at the same time, as you turn up your ISO, so like if you have like a over 500, 600 ISO, you start getting the problem of a grainy picture. So it's not a cool grainy, like it's not a grainy that you will have or like and see and like give a cool aesthetic. It's like a bad grain that you don't want in your picture. So the best idea is to all have your ISO as low as possible and control the other two values, the aperture and the shutter speed. So your photo gets as bright or as dark as you want. The next thing to have in mind is how you edit the picture. When you're having a big picture, like if you are printing in a big scale, the colors are not going to turn out as in your computer as obviously. So it's important to, understand, to have always your computer turned on the brightest settings so the colors are as accurate as they, will, as they can be. It's not the same, but it's almost as you want it. So when you have your colors as bright as you want, you have to understand the lightning and how your colors contrast each other. You have to level out so you don't get overexposure or underexposure. So black has to be the black as you want, but not as black that it will erase information for your photo. You always want as the best information you want. So before you edit the picture, it's always important to understand that if you have a picture that is like underexposed from your camera, it's usually not the best picture to edit because you don't have that much information. And if you try to reveal, to like edit, to contrast this stuff, it will not get as good as you want. So. It's always important to understand that when you take the picture, you have to have it as perfect as you can. You have to have the best picture to edit that picture. So you get the best results possible. At the end, at the time of printing, that's the hardest part, I believe, because it's not cheap and it's not easy to print in big scale. So in my personal experience, I use Lumen, Hyper Lumen, in my opinion. And you get like this column paper that's very good for printing in plot gram formato is what I use. And always bring a USB and be clear to the employee on Lumen your measurements. So I use Photoshop, I open, a, I see my format in my picture, if it's four by three, I put it on a Photoshop um, file. And in the file, I put my measurements already, like in centimeters, like if I want 60 by 90 centimeters, I already put that in the file of Photoshop. And then I scale my picture so I don't like distort it in certain ways. So bring your file already in the scale you want and just tell the Lumen employee, I want it in 90 by 60 centimeters. And usually they'll do it like that because if you just bring your pictures and you tell the size, if you don't know perfectly the size or if they don't know how to scale it correctly, you can get problems because it gets distorted. Like the picture can start losing quality, start like losing like the composition 
the composition you have in your picture it's also a big problem if you scale it so the best tips to taking better picture for your exhibition is understanding the lighting so you can modify it like you have to know the rules to bend the rules so it's important to modify the lighting in your camera to understand the values like if you understand all of these the pictures will get so much clearer with so much better understanding and your composition the idea you have behind the picture it's easier to express it when you know what you're doing in the camera so that's basically the most important things to have a good picture and to print a good picture for the IB exhibition